What's up YouTube? Today we're taking a look at Elite Comp problem number 1097, Gameplay Analysis 5, and that one is marked as hard, so let's get into it. Just like in all the other Gameplay Analysis problems, we only have one table called Activity. That one contains four columns named Player ID, Device ID, Event Date, and Games Played. This table shows the activity of players of some game. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Let's go through our task. We define the install date of a player to be the first login day of that player. We also define day one retention of some date X to be the number of players whose install date is X and they log back in on the day right after X, divided by the number of players whose install date is X, rounded to two decimal places. Write an SQL query that reports for each install date the number of players that installed the game on that day and the day one retention. The query result format is in the following example install date, installs on that day, and then day one retention as a ratio rounded to two decimal places. Basically what we want, and that is a pretty common use case for mobile games or games in general, is we want to know how many people installed the game on a given day and how many people came back on the second day after they installed it on the first day. So it's basically a measure of how interesting that game is and how many people drop out after giving it a first look. And improving that retention metric is of course very important to these game studios. So let's get into it. So what I really like about these gameplay analysis problems is that they kind of build up on top of each other. So we can use sub-solutions of one of the previous problems to code up this solution. So you should definitely check out the other videos on gameplay analysis if you haven't first. And you should probably also do the problems in that order, gameplay analysis 1 to 5. So we did already look at first day installs, how many people came back on the second day. Now it's just about calculating the ratio and that's what we're going to do right now. So let's just start out by finding out which is the first install date per player. That should be quite simple. So we select player ID, then event date take the minimum of that to get the first one and call that yeah just event date for simplicity we're going to join later on and we're selecting that from activity we only have that table which is quite nice makes it more simple and we need to group by player id to get the first login per player and not for the entire table so let's see what that gives us when we run that code uh, yeah, we get the first login date per player, which is very nice, and we already solved a sub-problem of the question. So if you face one of these hard problems in an actual interview, it's always good to deconstruct that problem into smaller sub-problems and solve them already so the interviewer knows where you're struggling and how you kind of get to your solution. So that is already the sub-solution of getting the first login date per player. So I'm going to put this in brackets. So we're going to self-join right here. This one's called A. And let's just select star for now from that self-join. Going to join activity B. That's all we have as in terms of tables. And we're joining on player ID. So A dot player ID should be B dot player ID. So we're looking at the same player. And then we also want to compare event date. So in order to construct the logical connection of the first login date being A and B being the day following that, we need to add one to the first login date and that should be the second login date, right? Just one day higher. So B dot event date is one day higher than A dot event date. All right, if we run that code, we will get quite a few rows. So we get player ID, event date, player ID, device ID, event date, and games played. Because we only selected player ID and event date for A. And yeah, we only get a match for player ID 1 and that is device ID 2, and that is the only case where we have someone logging in on the second date after they logged in on the first date. So in order to get that information for 
players that didn't log in on the second date, we're going to use a left join instead of a simple join. Because left join allows us to see where we didn't get a match and compare that or count that up in the end. That's what we're going to do. So if I run that code now, we should get more rows because we're going to, since we're using a left join, we're going to get all the rows from the left table in case of this solution A and all the matches we have in B. If there's no match, it's going to give us null values, which is the case here. So once again, we have that first row where we have a match for player ID 1 that logged in on the first day and second day. And then we have player ID 2, their first login date, and then null values because they didn't log in on the second day. Same for player ID 3, which didn't log in on the day following the first login. Um, they did log in, but much later. If you check that um, example input, they logged in on 1st of March, but the second login date wasn't on the following day, but much later. So we have quite a lot of information now. We can kind of compare where we found a match, where people did sign in on the following day, and where that wasn't the case. And that is pretty much all we need to calculate our ratio in the end and the other required information. So we have install date, that is pretty much a dot event date because that is our first login and install date. So install date is the first day you logged in because yeah, that's when you install the game. So let's call that install date. Then we want installs and day one intention. So for installs, we can just count up the number of players we have on a given date and for the other ratio, it's going to be a bit, little bit more complicated. Okay, so for this one, we're going to count up a dot player ID, which is the first field in our output. Here, one, two, and three. So that count should give us three in total. And if we group by install date, it should be two for 1st of March 2016 and one for 25th of June 2017. So let's call that installs and then don't forget to group by a dot event date or install date. Yeah, so let's run that for now. Um, we do have a small error. Event date. Yeah, just forgot from and that should give us the install date and installs and yeah that's two for 1st of March and one for 25th of June. Now we just need day one retention and what we're going to do is we're going to set up a ratio by dividing and we want to look at installs and then people that logged in on the day after they installed right and we already have installs so that should go in here. That are all player that installed the game on a date. And the smaller value should be the player that came back on the second day. It can only be as high as installs, right? There can't be more people coming back on the second day than installed on a given day before. Okay, so we're gonna count up b.playerid because b.playerid will be null if there hasn't been a match in our left join. If you remember the output we had before, we had null values for those matches where there wasn't a match. So if we left joined for, let's say, player ID 3, we would have player ID 3 as a dot player ID, and then we wouldn't find a match because they didn't log in the day after the first login. So that would give us null for beta player ID. So if we count up player ID, it will just mm, count nothing for that row. It will count if there was a match just for player ID, that's the case here, and that way we find the number of people that signed in on the second day. Yeah, so let's see what that gives us. We're not at the final solution just yet, 
but that gives us a correct value. We just need to round that and then also rename that to day one retention. So let me copy that, call it day one retention. I'm going to put this in a new line for readability. And for rounding, we just use our round function, put what we want to round in quotes, uh, in brackets, and then after the comma, we can specify how many decimals we want to round that to. And in this case, we should round to two decimal places. All right, so that should hopefully give us an accepted output and also an accepted solution. And yeah, we're pretty much there. So if you break that problem down to smaller subproblems, it's not as hard as it seems. You're required to use left join and understand the way that the matching works and that it gives you null values if there's no match. And that way you can count up that ratio. So it kind of builds up upon the third and fourth problem, I believe, in gameplay analysis and just requires you to go one step higher. And I really like this problem, as I said, because it builds up upon the solutions for the previous problems and also because it's very realistic. People look at retention all the time, not just for games, but also for social networks like Facebook. And they're hiring like crazy for data analysts, data scientists, game studios as well. So that is something you, can, you could really encounter in the real world and maybe technical interviews. In my experience, there weren't that many hard problems. They would rather have you solve a medium problem clearly and explain it well. So maybe gameplay analysis three or four are more realistic in interviews, but I think it's very valuable to go through this one to understand left join, how to break up a problem and explain the subparts and also piece it all together. So I really like this problem. Can I recommend going through it for pretty much anyone and also the other gameplay analysis problems. I have videos for all the other gameplay analysis problems on this channel as well. I'm going to leave them linked down below and in the end screen maybe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Consider subscribing if you want to go through more lead code SQL solutions. I have a whole playlist containing all the videos on lead code SQL problems. And I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.